Hi guys and welcome to the latest development video. I am recording this for the Tokyo Game Show which is uh, coming up any day now and this is a video specifically for the Tokyo Game Show which they, they would like to see you know what sort of state your game is at and what it can do and, and I must say I haven't put all the systems together for a long while so I'm a bit worried about what might happen here but We'll see what happens. This is the best I can do because I need obviously more time uh, to develop. But here we go. And now, um, for the demo for the Tokyo Game Show, the first city here, Screaming Totus 8, and the second city, a city, Topaz 11, will not be available. Uh, you'll be able to go to them, but you can't start in them. So you, you, you press 3 on this screen to begin. Now a bit of backstory on this, uh, at the moment I have the cutscenes turned off, the original cutscene starts with two guys at a table saying that the AI has got too uh, smart, too big for its boots and it needs to be dismantled and you are the AI, um, this guy and your brothers who are very similar and they want to get rid of you and kill you. Now you don't know that yet but the cutscene will have shown that. But there are some people behind the scenes who do know that. And in many ways they're right. They're, they're complaining that instead of you doing your job and, and cleaning up uh, as they designed you to do, you're actually an alcoholic droid who uh, doesn't really go to work or do anything and just indulges himself in nights out and gets drunk and collects old computers and runs experiments and things like that in his lab. He doesn't actually go to work in the way he should. So, you know, maybe they're right. And this message at the bottom is showing exactly that, right? That the night before you, you got wasted with some friends and you really, really have a bad hangover and you have to uh, fix it. So in the top left there, you can see it says damage report, visit the chemist ASAP. See radar for directions. Hangover state, Lord consume me which is the highest hangover state you can get. And you can see um, on the radar there, there's actually a line uh, from the octopus, which is you basically, to somewhere that you need to go, which is the chemist. So your first mission is to go to the chemist. So we'll, we'll do that. And if you hear any music in the background, that's because my event system is actually on and uh, the ones on the radar that are glowing actually have a DJ playing at them right now and you can go and see the DJ um, and uh, listen to the music close up but we'll do the chemist thing first and like I say the, the, the this is a pedestrian this guy and, and that guy these have only been turned on tonight uh, no, I wanted to test them and make sure they work and everything before going uh, back into recording a video, but for the Tokyo Game Show, I wanted to show what I actually have, so I'm taking a bit of a risk here because there'll be bugs, there will be bugs, there will be bugs, and uh, already, oh no, no, there is a bug because the line on the radar is not showing the pharmacy uh, for some odd reason. But it should be pointing to here, right? Which is the pharmacy. You got your headache, uh, you got your really nasty hangover. So you come here and you get to the doctor, and there's a menu here, and you can buy different things. And when you buy something, the state of your hangover will change in the top left. So you see it's red now. It says, Lord, consume me. If I buy this Xanaz for 100, it goes down to Pillow Pounder, and you can hear him go, oh. But it's still not gone. So actually, the first mission involves you buying every single thing in the chemist. It's down to Rafa's guts. 
almost octopus again, which is because you are uh, an octopus in a shell, basically. You're not human. And I don't know if you heard that, but yeah, the hangover, we saw hangover was cured, and it was like, hallelujah, and uh, uh, he's uh, true. This guy's got his uh, umbrella out, even though his guts are half hanging out, he's willing to hide from the rain. This guy's trying to get into Sinberg's, the home of true filth. Uh, the rain has gone, so they put their umbrellas away. Um... At the moment, I'm just walking around, but I think a phone call should come in, if I'm correct, because the opening mission where you uh, get rid of the hangover actually triggers uh, a random phone call from the guy you were drinking with. So uh, at the moment, I can just wait for that phone call, but uh, I can run around and show you what's happening here. So what we have, oh, there he is. And you can see it's an old, 80s type phone on the right. You see a little kitten there. So we press left alt to answer the phone. And then this is what he's saying to us. There's no name right now, but I, I need to fix that, obviously. Now. He was out with you last night, and that was why you needed all the painkillers. And his solution is to have hair of the dog, which, as you know, is more alcohol to cure you. Um, and he's waiting for you at Bob One Day, which is a bar just over there, actually. Um, where's the cat? There's a cat meowing somewhere. There he is, look. I don't know if you can hear the sounds. And uh, the idea is that you can, all right, you can feed the cats. Uh, right mouse button should get rid of that, but for some reason it's sticking around. You can feed the cats and the dogs, uh, and they become your friends. Well, the dogs are more useful because they're really tough. I don't know where the dogs uh, are, but I'll find one. So this alleyway, you can see, is actually filled by, you know, pedestrians, but there's also uh, bouncers here controlling the place, like this guy, and you can talk to these guys. Not tonight, pal, we don't like robots in here. You see the camera work too, zooms in on him. That's uh, obviously still work in progress, but there's stuff like that happening. Um, they, basically, the, the, these bouncers, they really don't like robots. Um, so you can't actually get into any of these bars. That's because they don't exist yet. But if they do, you will build it. But the, the streets like this, where you see it's kind of the Japanese golden guy style. And there's places you can go. There's a guy in there, for example. And down here, there's uh, Dog Orange. And this... Um, because you can you can see on the radar that it's glowing where I am, right? You can see the glowing pin in the middle. And you can see the stars here. That's because there's a DJ live. And if you go up to the DJ, you will hear the music. So I'll do that right now. And that is DJ Tomb Sweeper, as you can see by the hotspot. And you can actually uh, go and meet, um, I mean, go and listen to all the DJs, um, which I'll do right now. And this is just a, a restaurant where, a Chinese restaurant where people come to eat. You can see the pedestrians are waiting around, and he's drinking, well, he was drinking. And you can actually go in these places, and, and you can see the staff are. Hard at work, well, should be hard at work. Oh, he's doing something. And um, there's back rooms and stuff, this guy here preparing things. Um, and all the restaurants have staff. Um, and there's also um, 
animals, people, and key people. So here, oh, what? Someone's messaging me. Look, they've got work for me to discuss. Uh, I'll not do that now because I haven't tested that for a while. But you can see, like, there's a guy here drinking a cocktail or an hour beer at the uh, signal box, which actually has no staff. But uh, what we'll do is we'll find a place that does have staff. And some of them don't have the files to actually have the chat, right? As a new district here. And these are like missions, right? If I wanted to click on that, I would be able to play a mission, which is shown elsewhere on my YouTube channel um, under the combat demo 1.4.8, I think. So I won't, I won't do that right now, but um, there's some cool places around here. Um, so in terms of, well, there's a dog look. In terms of, let's have a look at this doggy first. Oh, he's running away. Are you going, dog? And you can turn your torch on with T if it's a bit dark for your liking. There he is. Stairs are not uh, perfect for animals yet, but you can see that he's working, he's doing his thing. And you can see that there's different crowds in different bars, but what I was going to demonstrate was the, um, the gigs that are happening. There's a gig happening right now in Bob's, as you can see from the, the stars from the guys on stage. So if we go, we can hear what the show is. We'll just keep waiting because uh, they do a lot of cool music. This is a real band in Taiwan cover of their album here and this is a real song that they play on stage in this bar in real life this is a bar in Taipei City which is where I live but I'm British and they don't look anything like this they're a lot more attractive <laughs> but they're played by a gang of bikers in this in this demo and that seems to be the end of the song actually but they haven't left yet. They will leave when the song ends, so uh, unless I've hit a bug. No, they've left. See, they did finish. Anyway, we'll go to another place. And you can see the people watching it, look. And uh, you can see the barmaids. This is uh, Ronnie and Laura. They work here. Uh, and you can get drinks off them. There is a menu system, like you saw with the uh, buying of the painkillers, but there might be bugs in it. It's still in progress. And there's Laura outside, relaxing. Oops, I, I ac accidentally hit Q and threw a grenade, uh, which killed some people and also um, had a, a mess up on the uh, old shaders but let's have a look if I can click on the menu there you go it's not working properly but that allows you to buy drinks um, so there's other places right there's the jeweler there's the red light district here which features heavily in many other videos so I won't I won't go in but you can see uh, that you can't actually go in there uh, this is a yakitori skewered meats straight from the hot grill with a Japanese uh, like madman running it called Blues and there is also uh, other places like this one Mr. Bartender which is based on a real bar in Taipei City who has a DJ so yeah this one is also performing well she was She's not performing now, so there's a bug there, obviously she needs to stop, but she had a gig going when she was playing jungle music, and uh, their decoration for the window is actually a scuba diver who lives in there, assumingly a robot one, and you can see people walking around behind it.
you can see the hologram adverts that appear on certain things. Mr. Bartender has a rabbit. And the golden guy ones, well, they're not there right now, but sometimes they have people drinking and eating with chopsticks. Um, Germans is the main entertainment place here, which you can go in and, uh, well, they've got their hologram adverts. Look, the comedy masks at the top because it's a comedy club sometimes and the jazz uh, icon there because it also does jazz. And these two sing. It's actually not happening right now because that guy there is waiting for that guy there to get to the mic. But when they do sing, they sing music from this album, which has been officially licensed. See when the sun goes down, which are sea shanties, and it's really interesting. So maybe I'll, I'll come back when they actually sing. And you might have noticed in the corner there's like adverts that come up. That comes up when they do sing, so you know you can go there and appreciate it. So it's like the adverts, the, the events are live, and, I, and the other AI will flock to the event. Well, they should do, but they're not working right now. You might also notice that these AI are not very uh, different in certain ways, but that's because uh, I'm still working on various things. But you have the bartender here. And he also has a menu. Uh, of course, that menu will be customized with German beer. Well, not German beer, but any beer. And, um, yeah. So, there's other bars you can go to. Like the uh, Asylum here is another bar. Um, and there's a guy who works here called Blood Axe. And he serves... Uh, <laughs> beer to the locals in here and he's a bit of a crazy man and the locals are crazy too and we have the two DJs who are residents here called Applehead and Strawberry Head and they are the fruits of the forest together and when they both get onto the uh, decks here at the same time then you get uh, retro synthwave music uh, so let's hope that they do that and we can demonstrate it. Come on, boys, play some music. Uh, these are all customers. He also has a ball. Oh, they've got the umbrellas up in the building, which is fair enough. Roof is leaking. Um, no, they're not getting together to play the music. And you have to wait. And once they do, the event will be broadcast on on the right side, like the other ones were. But he also has a beautiful uh, assistant called, I can't remember her name now, called, oh, Candice. And Candice prepares cocktails back here uh, using all these ingredients. And uh, you can buy cocktails from her eventually. Uh, she's not very clean, though, if you look at all the mess around, which is, uh, you know, one of the jobs that you were meant to be doing yourself. And there's Beer Geek Micropub, which is an unfinished bar, but uh, it has arcade machines and pinball, but it will be good. And down here you actually have, um, this is Jingo Jade Market, but when you come out here you have uh, an island called Benoni Island. And that's actually a rock that I saw in Taiwan called Vars Rock, which I had custom built to put on the beach. And there's a shaman here, this guy. Dreamwalker, you can see he's kind of like a mad shaman, aboriginal guy, he has a like, little tent over here, and you, can, you can break that open when you've got the axe, he has a little door you can go into, he actually has a house in Vars Rock, but yeah that little guy lives on the island, he's leaving right now, he doesn't leave very often but he does go to uh, one of the herbal shops. Come on, mate, out we way. You can, can you push him? Pushing him, pushing him. Yeah, uh, he's gone back where he belongs. And there's little secrets you can get here. There's hundreds of them around the world. Uh, then you also have up here, which is. Um, different part of the city altogether 
which is Shogun Lamella, uh, which is a different area, uh, packed area with high rises and cityscapes. It's a bit like, you know, Taipei, Tokyo, Hong Kong. There's a lot of crammed into these little alleyways, and it ins it, I was inspired by walking around these places in Asia. Uh, there's another bouncer. And these TARDIS looking things, they are actually teleporters. They will take you to another city. I'll leave that till later for now. You can see there's loads of stuff around. And yeah, this is my house that I started in. And you can see uh, floppy disks. I'll turn my torch off actually, it's been on the whole time. That's, that's a real floppy disk from when I was a child. Um, that I made and printed and gave to all my friends with my game on. Uh, this guy is a robot who needs your help, right? He has a mission. We'll, we'll just click on him and we'll see. Uh, so he wants you to help him. This is Dusky and Singh. He builds robots, but his knees are messed up. He's um, He's only able to move because the the knees have not been oiled. And I've just threw these ideas in to test my mission system, right? So these will be improved. But you can see the camera moves and stuff. And he needs uh, what they call Roboil. Roboil? Yeah, and they sell it in Toys in Japan, which is a shop in the in the city there. And so he asks you to get the uh, oil. And you can skip these like this. And that's the end of the conversation. What? Somebody's ringing me. How could that be real? That's actually a bug. Uh, if you speak to this guy again, he says, still stuck here, man. And he wants the oil from Roboil, from Toys in Japan, which has been marked on the radar as a line. I'm going to pause it for a second, uh, the game that is, and get rid of the ringing, because that is a bug. So I'm going to pause the video to back a second. Oh, well, that's not good, is it? You know, crashed there because of the lighting system. It was not going to do with me. So I'll be back in a second. Okay, we are back. Uh, what else is there to show? Well, these menu systems, of course, are very good. Uh, and allow you to trade and show achievements, buy guns, you know, change everything, take screenshots, the lot. But we will bypass them for now. And because I had to reload there, I need to do the uh, chemist mission again, uh, which I can do by going up here. I have a little shortcut that will make things less tedious. Where I can bring this up uh, and type by all. Now that guy wanted some oil from, uh, you see the night's happening on the right, right? That That's real actually, I'll go there right now. Because that came up, that, that's actually a real night and you can see it lit up on the uh, radar there. And there's another one, they're happening too frequently actually. There's a dream walker. But at least you can hear the music, watch this. You get near the fruits of the forest. And this is all real licensed uh, synth wave, retro wave music. Some of this was also used in Grand Theft Auto V uh, officially from Time Cop 1983, where you can hear him in this and many other. There's there's like 20 tracks of this. So if you just want to stand in the bar, have a drink, listen, this is your, this is what you do.
I'll let you listen for a while, because I own the rights. I'm not worried about copyright strikes. Of course, someone's ringing me, but uh, we'll 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 forget him for now. He will hang up after 30 seconds, but he will ring again later. I'm going to move the mic a little bit closer so you can maybe hear it. This is the fruits of the forest performing their night fresh and fruity at Asylum. A live event that I didn't plan, the AI planned it, and you can go there and you can listen. And other AI will turn up. It doesn't happen right now. Well, it used to, but not right now. But uh, the, the people in the city will flock to this event and drink, and the bars will be banging. There's another night there in um, Germans. We're going to go there now and see what they've got to offer. You can hear it fades out. Armandus is ringing again. Let's just ignore him again because I really want to show you uh, the Kimbersman. Le Retardo sing the Kimbersman songs. We'll get on stage. Oh, we're stuck. There's a bug. But you can still hear them. If Armitage stops fucking ringing, I'll answer Armitage. Anyway, once this is an officially licensed album from the Kimbersmen, who are sea shanty singers like the ones from Assassin's Creed, and they sing on stage, which you can hear now. Twenty-five different tracks that you can listen to in this bar when they sing. The animations are not great right now for the singers. The animations need to be a lot better. But finding um, correct animations or hiring a mocap suit is is beyond my cash boundary right now. But uh, in the future. If I win some money and awards, I will uh, pay for real animation. And in the background, you can hear the Jungle Knight from uh, the other bar, Mr. Bartender, which I'll go to in a second after this. Now this guy really won't stop calling. That's because it's a main story mission. And you're meant to go meet him. It's designed to sort of force you into it, although you can do whatever you want really. Once you answer him, he won't he won't mess with you again. But uh, because I'm actually stuck to this wall here, I'm gonna have to start again anyway. That's a bug obviously. I, I'm hanging on the uh, <laughs> stage in front of them but I can't unhang. Of course like I said on the application form it's only 80% complete. There's bugs like this that need to be fixed but uh, this is a beautiful place to hear some sea shanties and I'll let this one finish. Okay, well, the game reloads uh, so I can get out of that um, locked position. Um, I would just like to say that, you know, this game has taken me nine, eight, almost nine years to develop on my own. I've spent a lot of my own money uh, and I'm really trying to make something a bit like Yakuza. Uh, or Yakuza 
or or Grand Theft Auto, but I'm trying to make it different. It's different in that it's got a lot more humour. It's got a lot. It's got uh, things that people have never seen before. A little bit more, right? Like, um, uh, well, they're slowing down time. Obviously, that's been seen. There's different themes that people have never really talked about, like addiction and things like that. I don't know what's happening there. What is happening there? Like there is a lot of humour in this uh, that you can't um, see from a quick demo, but a lot of the uh, stuff is, is funny. But I would like to demonstrate mostly the physical stuff, uh, like these alleyways, for example, that look so beautiful. And there's actually a rat. There's a rat there. Look, there's a rat that runs around. It's a big one. Um, and uh, there's uh, the DJ at uh, Dog Orange. I'm going to go there in a second, but I want to show you a little bit more about the uh, some of the things, right? And well, that saxophone should be changed for something else, right? But this is a like a traditional Japanese kind of restaurant, and they have like a really traditional guy here called Ma the Bumbler. That was what my uh, landlord called uh, one of the politicians here. So I used to. And the clown music that's coming up here, that's actually not meant to happen. That, that's uh, because he he's based on a template of the clowns that I showed in my combat demo. Um, and for that reason, he, he's adopted their abilities. I just wanted him to look around so I could see him. There he is. Wait, wait, let's just see his face. He looks kind of Japanese. Anyway, there you go. Um, and I wanted him to be like that, and this is kind of a Kira bike, but it, you know, it's a lot. There's a lot of Asian stuff, but it's not just because I've spent a lot of time in Asia. All that cyberpunk films um, show Asia as a kind of future. It's well, no, it's probably because I spent a lot of time there, right? And I love it. Anyway, uh, <laughs> you turned on that one. But look, you can like cling, cling onto things too. So in third person, for example, I can cling onto this sign like that and look around. I keep forgetting that I am actually demonstrating for uh, you know potential game show because I've spent so much time uh, demonstrating this just uh, as a hobby. So also, you can see places closed now, right? The place we were in just a second ago, trying to listen to the music, is actually shut. Places can be open or shut. This bar is actually shut, and you can see the manager there looking through the window, forlornly. But you can't get in; it's shut. He's finished for the night. Uh, other places that I wanted to demonstrate, I'll quickly do. Um, I'm taking a risk going into places, but let's go for it. Because uh, I haven't tested a lot of this for a while. But there's a bar called Maruya. Nope, that's not working. But you can actually go in, Maria. Uh, I think it's because I changed the name of the tag to RSL Player instead of Player. And a lot of places are not working now. You can see this place is shut. But you can also hear that one of the DJ nights is on. Let's go to that. Oh, what's that the right? Oh, no. He was on in there. He's in lock in. Okay. So there, are, there is other ways to get in if the doors are shut, just like real life, right? Unless they're all shut. See, that one's shut too. Um, but, you know, this place is open. Well, their door is shut. But um, you can actually still get in there. They have little private parties, these people. Cheeky. And they're... So this is music by uh, a friend of mine called DTR, he calls himself. So let's listen to a bit of DTR and like we'll go in the bar and you can see that the barmaids uh, I'll turn my mic uh, a little bit towards the music here you can see that the barmaids are like well most people right now they're not reacting fully properly but they're, they're there's an effort there they're trying and they're trying to entertain their guests this is kind of a hostess bar I guess they call it in Taipei City 
where they drink with you and entertain you. And this guy is a pedestrian, uh, like a civilian, so is he. So you can see that they're, they're chilling here to listen to the music of DJ Tombsweeper. And the barmaids here will walk around and even interact with the cash machine. I'll prove that by standing here, unless there's a bug, of course. I can see the uh, storeroom there is actually full of alcohol. Um, and that storeroom door opens and closes and, and there's a secret in there. You can see the fish disc floating up there. That's actually a secret. So this door will be rarely open in the real game. And if it is open, it will be only open for a few seconds while they grab some uh, refreshments. Uh, not refreshments, uh, stock the bar again with beer. But if you can get the right timing and get the fish disc. The fish disc is a computer game made by another NPC in the game who you can go to his uh, actual lab and um, put it in his computer and play it but he, he also had all of his games stolen so he gives you a massive reward that is me that is a, that is a 3D model of me it's meant to be me but I was a youngster making games and, and I imagined you know if someone stole all my games and we didn't have backups and that back in the 90s and stuff properly so um, he, he's me and he, he goes oh my god you got the disc back and the disc is intended for a guy called Fred Fish who used to be a, a publisher of Amiga games back in the day anyway let's see if I can talk to Ting oh she said I don't have anything to say I get the goddamn writers on the phone yeah um, so well they haven't gone to the She's talking, and see how the camera panned to her? Hey man, how are you doing? Hmm, thinking. That, when it's in brackets like that, it's you thinking. Uh, kind of like Yakuza, where, where it's in brackets and he's thinking. Anyway, you can't talk to the pedestrians yet, but maybe you will be able to ask them about things. And we have, uh, this is Joel Fan. Old Street, it's an area in Taipei. It's based on that anyway. And up here, there's a restaurant called Diverse Kind, with guys in it who you can uh, order food from. Maybe not quite yet, but nearly. And there's a woman on this side. I'll put my torch on. Who you can also order from and you can see I've detailed inside her kitchen a little bit more um, so yeah uh, you can't get in this there's a love hotel there you can't actually get in there yet there's a bar there for samurais there's a cat meowing there he is hello cat why are your legs not moving there is a bug where people seem to stop walking at certain points and glide and uh, I'm fixing that as as we speak. Well, nearly. Um, there is bars here inspired by Ken Ding, Ken Ting, Ken Ding in, in the south of Taiwan. There's bars, there's chunking mansions here inspired by uh, Hong Kong uh, chunking mansions I, I guess I've been in here um, this is really busy this is shut right now but I wanted to go in there you can go in there there's a whole new district on a spaceship uh, there's an upstairs you can go to uh, which has different bars there there's park frighteners and there's skipper cans so different bars and these are the owners of the place that's Red Hot Danger he he runs Skipper Cans Skipper Cans you come in you just get your beer out of the skip uh, and they have an arcade machine here called Polybius and uh, Park Frighteners whoa you come in and she serves you beer from here and you can feel like you're in a park and you can see this guy actually already enjoying it and like I say the uh, 
pedestrians haven't actually been turned on in weeks, weeks, months, I would say, months. So I'm just happy that they're wandering and making the world look uh, popular. And there's a doggy, look. There he is. How oh, dog. Dung beer. Schofield Athletes Lager. Um, so you can see that the city is alive. If you go into Bob Wonder here, it's actually quite uh, popular. And some of them are the singers. Uh, that's the owner of Char Bars. And uh, well, I'm going to have to go over here. And some of them are just staff. And there's the guy you were meant to meet after the hangover. Here we are meeting him. He was the one out with you yesterday, so he's also got the same hangover. And now he's telling you he's got a message from the Newcastle Connection, which is a kind of um, network node on the main system, which only he's tapped into, really. And um, it's telling him that Big Face wants to meet me. Now, Big Face wants to meet me because through the Newcastle Connection, is that oh another crash through the Newcastle connection he has learned that um, Dolphinia want to kill me now I didn't play that uh, cutscene but yeah Dolphinia are trying to kill you and he knows about it and he tells you that Big Face is going to ring you soon and then he convinces you to have another drink with him and just wait for the call from Big Face. Big Face is the guy who, he used to run the whole system, but then he uh, privatized it out. He sold chunks of it to other people and uh, to mostly to Dolphinia who bought it all up. And what they're trying to do is squeeze him out, right? They're trying to buy everything up and squeeze him out, but he's the original elected leader, so they can't. Um, but Big Face is running into his own problems too because of the, the cooling pond is uh, people have pissed, uh, puked, and shit in it over the years for so long that the actual um, water that he takes up into his system, and there's something in there, uh, organic, is actually uh, contaminated with alcohol, drugs, spicy foods, and he uh, has become addicted to that particular water, right? He prefers that to clean water. So he's privatized everything, but he's left the bars and the restaurants and the, and, and, and the drug industry to himself, which he wants you to run and help him get through um, so he can carry on with his his life. He wants you to help him run them and and, and because he knows you're going to die in return, he's going to save your life. He knows a lot of people. He knows what's going on. He can't save you. And this is Gaz. He asked you to get the discs I was talking about a minute ago. Let's see if it works. Again, I haven't tested things. This is a very quick run for the Tokyo Game Show. And a lot of features are messed up. Yeah, there's a bug there where someone moves while you're talking to them. Okay, uh, clicking on people is broken right now. Um, that uh, was working yesterday, but you know I've, I've introduced a lot of things. So basically, when you click on him, he asks you to find his floppy disks. Um, now I haven't showed interiors, and I haven't showed. Oh, he's messed up. And I haven't showed um, different cities. But oh, I'm it stop ringing me. Okay. So I'm going to demonstrate now uh, just a few other things, and hopefully I can teleport in the cities. Um, this will not be in in the demo. Well, it will be in the demo actually. You will be able to teleport cities in the demo, but they're not as developed as this city, right? But these things, Tardises, Tardigrades. There'll be a better effect for that. They allow you to teleport to another city. Now, right now, it's loading the city, but if you have enough RAM, uh, it will actually preload the city, so it will be instant. So, 
this is a bad example and hopefully my voice is not jerking because the computer does struggle under this load um, but this should be an instant teleport is my main point and I'll teleport back to prove that because it's left in memory after that in the end uh, things are a lot slower to run and uh, load in real life much quicker um, yeah so here we are in a totally different city we're going to first person um, completely different city which you can choose to start in if you want um, but right now you can teleport to but at the beginning you you need money right so you probably have to take the the train that you just saw there rather than a teleporter because you can't get the teleporter uh, you have to buy a teleporter pass and they're quite expensive so you won't get one at the beginning which means you'll take this train here which is a bit messed up but you can see the general gist of it um, but this is a, yeah this is a totally different city with a totally different place uh, Again, lots of work spent on this. Uh, there's a, this is a Isakaya bar based on a one in Taipei. And you can go in here and uh, you build the order from the menu just like uh, before. And uh, people will be seated and there'll be chefs working here. Like I say, this city doesn't have the. Uh, staff or anything like that. Well, it does have a couple of staff, but not many. Uh, it's still work in progress, but I'll, I'll still give you a run around the city to show you how it looks. Um, it's probably one of the most ambitious cities. It's a beautiful uh, place. And there's bridges over here. And actually, I will turn on the people that I have in a second. So you can see these places are beautifully designed, but they're empty, uh, like this Chinese restaurant, for example. But I actually do have some staff here, so what I'm going to do is uh, put them on now. Um, using my own personal uh, ready, uh, AI system called Radii, I can literally turn on and control well, anything in the game. So, uh, I'll show you what I'm actually doing here. And what I'm doing is going really I core, spawners, staff, ST8, which is this city, as you can see, it's off. I'm going to turn it on. Um, I'm also going to turn on the pedestrians for this city. So, there's a lot of them, you can see. Uh, there's rooftops and zombies and scooters, and, but I'll turn them on anyway. I'll turn everything on because I want you to see uh, what can happen in this city. So in a second, there should be stuff here. Uh, there he is. Oh, well, he's stuck there. He must move. Ah, oh, I haven't baked the, uh, I haven't baked the navigation. So what I'm going to do here is pause it. Take the navigation and come back. So this time we're going to start in ST8, Scream and Tortoise 8, the city on the left there. You can start in any one you want and you play a different character. Uh, I'm going to see how it looks. So this is the, your, your apartment in this city. You have an apartment in each city, right? You can hear a motorbike guy there, actually. He's a bit annoying. Um, but there is a guy on a motorbike. At the moment, people can walk on the water. Uh, that's because I changed the water, and it, it looks really poor now. I have much better water, but this, at the moment, is uh, just the way it looks, and it's not great. Well, you can see the pedestrians walk, working. Uh, if they weren't walking across the water. There's a scooter guy. He actually has some texture problems. You know, like I say, this is a big game. It's difficult for me to keep perfect on my own. 
Um, this is a bar down here. But so I, what I wanted to demonstrate was that you have different restaurants with different uh, staff and pedestrians. So I'll go back to where I was and show you the pedestrians. And uh, you have this guy, for example, Sean C. Phillips. He runs the record shop. This robot tries to get you interested in going to see a film. This guy's just an old pedestrian. He just wants to look at the view um, or, or whatever he wants to do. This is some other shops here. Uh, new shop. And, and some of the textures are ruined. Like I say, I haven't been testing this uh, for a, a while. Um, but you can see that the uh, chef is there and he will actually go and prepare meals and people will sit at these tables if you wait long enough they will sit there and they will eat and they will be served by a robot these type of robot women who come out uh, literally they will be eating and drinking um, I'm gonna pause it for a second work out why they're not there they are not there because Nope, they should be there. So I, I'm going to go somewhere else for a while. And uh, maybe they'll be there in a minute. Um, this is a coffee shop. They also serve this coffee shop. So where are they? There should be two robot women who serve this place. Anyway, there's people coming out of these doors and having a look around. Um, going places. Hanging around. Um, and you can go up to the upper levels uh, and see what's happening of course with agility you can you can jump these entire skyscrapers later but I mean at, at this point you need to actually walk around and, and there's restaurants here look there's, this is this is uh, Nayote Mori which means body sushi and these guys come here, it's a sushi restaurant, as you can see, but its specialty is sushi on a, 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 he's a rooftopper. Sushi on a female body, but yeah, th this is still work in progress, of course, that looks ridiculous, but um, eventually it will be sushi eaten off a female body if you're in the, fit, the best bit. And the people on rooftops can be snipers or not. They can be hired by the government to snipe you. And then it gets pretty nasty. Um, whoa! So, this is the old, old city. I mean, I, I say old, but I haven't really showed a lot of this, I guess. I don't know. This is all for the Tokyo Game Show, so I'm trying to show as much as possible. I think this restaurant is actually broken, unfortunately. You can hear there's a new kind of music. There's a DJ in here playing great music. But the floor is all purple, but yeah. Uh, the barman is some crazy butterfly guy. And the music is all licensed uh, from a band called The Color Domes in uh, Taiwan who are from a music label called uh, Future Proof um, so again it's just one more way to integrate great music that encourages you to stay in the bar because when you leave it turns off ah well there's another bug currently I'm sorry due to testing um, it hasn't turned off but here you can see a great example of four AI that are all actually the same character dressed in different clothing but look different now I hope that's not too loud if it is I am actually going to turn the volume down on my PC I know I'm speaking quite loud anyway right but that's to avoid um, anything like that happening but that that music should have stopped when I left uh, the bar 
just a quick tour of the other parts of SD8, which is, uh, you know, it's a pretty hardcore cyberpunk city. It's got all these weird tunnels and it's got these little stalls and it has nightclubs that you can go into, which probably not work right now, but, you know, there are like numerous nightclubs. It's still coming together and as I build things, things break. You can see I'm a different character because I started in City 1. Each city you start as a different guy. And you can all meet up and be each you can meet each other. You can you know, you can see each other. Maybe I'll demonstrate that right at the end of the video. But this is to demonstrate here there's a bar called the Pit Stop. And there's a little guy, well not a little guy, a massive fucking robot. It looks like the guy who worked at uh, called Claymore actually. But he works there and he will serve you drinks. And you can go through here and you can see the glass. It's making everything look distorted. See it? You see a guy on a scooter down there, look. Doesn't know what he's doing. But yeah, the, the scooter, and there's a guy walking behind him. The scooter guys can get around the whole city. Everyone can. Everyone is free. And there's uh, around 500 NPCs that do not turn off when you're not looking at them. They live their life. Um, I can't demonstrate that right now, really, but it is true. The white elephant is a bit messed up, but that, that's going to be a bar. And there's uh, a coffee shop uh, over here. some guys going in look let's see what they do what's he doing he's holding a chicken drumstick and he doesn't have a file right so he doesn't know what to say to me but he does have a chicken drumstick it means he's been eaten somewhere and he's left and this is the coffee shop he's left with it this is the coffee shop that we have here and uh, many people can come and sit like him he's the one who just went in Other, the, the, the music is messing up a little bit actually see because right now you get like you get the music that the DJ was playing earlier I'm going to turn it down a little bit because it's loud but um, this is an earlier incarnation where you didn't have to stand next to the DJ you just had to go into a bar and, and listen right so it would encourage you to stay in the bar and you can see in the bottom right there's an there's a music icon and that was like you know stay here enjoy the music and actually i have done many times i've, I've really sat here and i thought i don't want to leave this bar because the music's so good and some of the pedestrians have too and like i said about the pedestrians one thing you might notice is that they look really generic and well they don't look generic but they're covered in metals and stuff but they are generic they're the same model it won't be like that in the real game there'll be 35 different models and there'll be textures like this that make them look wild right like these guys just just look weird they, i don't want them to look like normal guys in shirts and suits some key key people do look like that right but i don't want them all to look like that um and, and a lot of the times, if you get it right, it works. And, and they work, right? There's a guy there on his phone. and Well, what's he doing? The guy in front of me is made out of metal plating. and I'm made out of metal plating. So I, I can go up, and the music should stop. Does it? No. There's a, there's a bug again, right? That's because I changed the main music source. Just yesterday, I... I uh, I changed it so that special effects and music are on a different audio source, right? That's why that's broken. I wish I'd fixed it before this demo, but it's not happening and I haven't done it. But you can see the beautiful uh, light situation here. In this is Epoch, this is the original city. Oh, they're walking the water, but I can't, okay. I actually actually swim in here, right? And if you keep going down, 
Well, I died because I don't have the right uh, suit. I need a suit that is waterproof. But when you go down there, and I've got my cloak on now, I'm invisible for 10 seconds. I've got, uh, I mean, if you go down there with the right suit on, there's an entire city you can um, get to. Okay guys, sorry for the abrupt cut. I decided I should be showing the second city too, uh, to this entry into the Tokyo Game Show. So I decided to um, do that right now. Uh, the, a lot of the stuff hasn't, or hasn't been coded for this either. But we'll, we'll see how it goes. I do have uh, people and things like that. So we will turn on um, anything we have. This is a city called Topaz 11, right? Uh, looks like I do have... Um, I'll bring this over slightly. Looks like I do have um, pedestrians, which are called peds. Uh, zombies, random bars, and rooftops. So if I turn them on right now what will happen is they will be generated and I will be able to walk around my city with them in so this place is actually based on my real apartment in Taiwan Taipei City of course I've made it look a bit more ridiculous made it look really grimy and uh, cyberpunky but uh, it, it's the same layout for sure uh, and the purple again I apologize for any purple like that that is a uh, material that I haven't upgraded to HDRP meaning that I haven't actually tested this uh, since I upgraded my render pipeline so I'm testing this all again live for the Tokyo Game Show entry but you can see it still looks quite good and each character is different a different skin and a different octopus and that thing in the distance yeah that's just some you know freighter ship which might come in later and and those uh, and that looks ridiculous obviously there is a lot of flaws in the particle systems when you upgrade so I'm gonna fix all them but whoop and this is Topaz 11 this is a totally different area which is a lot more organic than anywhere else right uh, the plant the plants are popping in at the moment I, I'm gonna fix that that is totally new but uh, you know um, you, you get the general idea and this is the Mirador mansion which is another one of the Hong Kong style mansions and you can go in there and there's kebab shops and everything I don't know if it'll work let's try no it's because I changed the tag name of my player next video you will definitely be able to go in there but you can see there's a lot of high rises and uh, a lot of like mad stuff going on this purple here this should be a shoreline with like water flowing off a beach this is meant to be a beach and it was perfect, but again, upgrading to HDRP ruined the beach shader. But um, imagine that is a beach with a shoreline uh, sweeping up. And this is why I haven't demonstrated these things, because I want to fix it right before I show it. But just imagine it. And there's a body of water down here. Again, the water is temporary. Shoo! Uh, the water will be fixed a lot, but the uh, again the upgrade to HDRP um, destroyed the water shader that I was using. Um, so there's water here. You can actually swim in this water. Oh, did I die? Yeah, I don't have the thing that allows you to swim in water. But you should be able to swim in that. And I'll try that again. And uh, one of the few cool one of the cool things is that. In if you look at the top there, Agile setting 7 pot, Jalokia, 
fight by Butch. As a tester, I can move up and down between the highest settings. So if I go up to Reaper, this is what you'll get if you really achieve a lot in the game. You get your agility max jump. You buy all the things. So I can actually run in slow motion like this. And then I can jump like this. And again. So I can actually get places in seconds. Yeah, it looks like well, there's a lot of... Uh, graphical corruption but you can actually swim in that water it looks like my code uh, for the other you know for the poison water is actually kicking in but to show the the slow motion thing again I will demonstrate uh, just a couple more times what you can actually do right for example up there is my house that's the pl the flat where you start right that's beautiful if I do the super jump using slow motion I can get like up there onto the roof. That's the roof of my house, miles away. So you see that skyscraper over there? I can actually get up there if I want. Right? Well, let's try it. One jump, two jump, three jump. Okay, I missed it. But I didn't do it right. If you do it great, you can jump uh, even more than that. Uh, I'm, I'm turning that off now, just so I can look at the different bars and places. So these are all places at the at the foot of that, like city. Uh, not city, but, you know, town, and you can go up there and you can look. Um, and it's all, you know, very busy as Sonorox. I feel like I showed this in the last video, but I don't know. I, I must have done. But yeah, this place is uh, a very complex web of places. Not a complex web, but the, a lot of the cities end up like this. They're like, you know, um, small alleyways.